The Reakin is a very large hill situated in the county of Shropshire, near the city of Shrewsbury in central England. Its name comes from the ancient Roman town of Roxeter. At its peak, it is 1,335 feet high and on a clear day gives a stunning view over the surrounding countryside, nearby towns and villages. The local legend of how the Reekin was formed tells of a Welsh giant who, after becoming lost, dumped a spade full of soil intended for blocking the nearby River Severn onto the ground, thus creating the hill we see today. Some of the oldest rock formations in the world can be found here, with some dating back over an estimated two billion years. This piece of shaped stone is called a triangulation pillar, or a trig point. The Reekin is a popular place to visit for hikers and for those who simply want to get away from it all while enjoying the fresh Shropshire air. This structure is called a toposcope and shows the distances of all the surrounding towns and the visible landmarks. Sadly, the low cloud has settled on the hill, so there will be no stunning views for us today, I'm afraid. You know, the world of English is a fun and exciting place to be. I'm so glad you could join me for another lesson. Nobody heard him, the dead man, but still he lay moaning. I was much further out than you thought, and not waving, but drowning. Hi everybody, this is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you okay? I hope so. Are you happy? I hope so. In this lesson, we'll take a look at the two sides or faces of how we can feel emotionally and the way these feelings affect both ourselves and the people around us. In today's lesson, we will look at being happy and feeling sad. We all have feelings. They are the individual parts of our character that show the way we feel, depending on the situations around us. 
When we say feelings, we are actually describing one feeling at a time. Although, sometimes, for example, due to illness, a person may experience many feelings at once. The way you feel relates to your emotional state, mood, frame of mind, temper, disposition, state of mind, spirit. The prefix good or bad can be added to all of these words to show a positive mood and a negative one. Our feelings and moods are all related to the way we think in our minds. The study of this subject is called psychology. This also covers the way we behave generally. Our minds control everything we do. Besides actions, your mood can also affect your health. If you were to feel unhappy over a long period of time, then you may need to see a doctor. You could be suffering from depression. This is often caused by stress from a sudden change in your life, such as the loss of your job or the death of a loved one. It may sound strange to some people, but your mood can be affected by the weather. Psychologists have found that a chemical imbalance in the brain can cause us to feel sad when there is little sunlight about. Those affected will feel happier and more content during the summertime, while during the short winter days they may find themselves becoming depressed and gloomy. This feeling even has a name. S. A. D. Seasonal Affective Disorder. It is amazing how our moods can change from day to day. You may find yourself jumping for joy on Monday and feeling down in the doldrums by Friday. There are many idioms for feeling happy and sad. Happy as Larry, to be very happy. Jump for joy, to show your happiness. Smile from ear to ear. A happy face. Happy go lucky, a cheerful person. On top of the world, so very happy down in the dumps to feel unhappy under a black cloud sad and depressed in the doldrums to feel sad and gloomy